this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is D Channel Guns. Come as another gun video. Appreciate you watching, like, sharing, subscribe. So I want to appreciate all my subscribers. Want to appreciate all the good information. Appreciate y'all for coming to the video. Appreciate all the love, support. Appreciate everything that y'all do for the toy community. Like I said before, y'all the star people. I'm just the mess. I'm just the every citizen trying to uphold the Constitution and defend the Second Amendment. So with that said, we could continue covering ammo. I know some of y'all like, you know, ammo, ammo. Well, you know, when it comes to ammo, it's so many things that a lot of people don't talk about. And, you know, I like to bring them things up and everything. And when it comes to ammo, there's a million ways, people, there's a million ways, things that you can talk about and discuss when it comes to ammo. Because it's, a lot of people just look at it the short-term way. And, you know, when it comes to ammo, right now, you have a lot of people having ammo fatigue. Um, to my, they're being fatigued because, for one, um, to my, they've been out week, day after day after day looking for ammo. And a lot of people starting to pretty much just you know just relax cut back um, to my you know just stop pressing trying to find ammo and stuff like that um, to my we see at your gun shops um we see at your gun shows and stuff like that um to my the price is skyrocket it's very you know it's not a whole lot available and stuff like that it's only a handful of places who have it and they're trying to charge you through the roof for the buy it and everything so a lot of people has been driving 30 miles, 40 miles and stuff. I'm starting to see a lot of interviews and stuff. People coming into gun shops and uh, to my, a lot of traffic for us, ammo and people calling and stuff like that. It's pretty much, um, you know, it's kind of dying down a little bit and stuff like that. So that's what's pretty much what's going on when it comes to ammo because people are just pretty much tired now. Uh, to my, it's been going on for a while. Uh, to my, the frenzy, ammo frenzy, it's still out there, but you have a lot of people who are pretty much getting relaxed. Uh, to my, they're falling back and stuff like that. And, you know, they, you know, because, you know, when it comes to, you know, buying ammo and stuff like that, it can wear you out, people. It can take a, it can take a toll on your body and stuff like that. Take a toll on your mindset. Um, to my, you know, people pretty much getting to the point. Now, you know, it, some of my local retails and stuff, the lines is not as long no more because, you know, ammunition is not coming in a whole lot at some of these places that you're getting up to wait for and everything. There's only a handful of people getting it. So people are letting that sit in and stuff like that. Now, you're still going to have some of your people who, your hardcore ammo buyers out there that's, that's pretty much just going to keep coming. They're, they're still out there. But, you know, for the you know the first time buyer, the average person out there getting ammo and everything, they're not going to be pressing, um, you know, with this ammo thing, you know, real hard and stuff because they're going to fall back. And, you know, I've seen this during a lot of, of these ammo shortages and stuff like that, you know, with the Walmart situation, when I dealt with that and everything and line and stuff like that, over time, people just get fatigued, they get tired and everything. They put so much into it, a lot of energy and everything into it, and then the energy starts to die down and stuff like that. So, you know, people had leave me comments and stuff, said they're just pretty much tired, uh, you know, they're not pressing a whole lot, and that, that's pretty much normal, you know, you see this you know, during these pandemics and stuff like that, these shortages and, you know, situation that we be having, you're going to see that, you know, a lot of stuff is going to take a, a breather for, you know, because a lot of people don't talk about that. When it comes to buying ammo and stuff like that, it would take a toll on you. It takes a lot. And, you know, I went through it and stuff like that. And, you know, it, you know, you really, you know, you really have to take a look, you know, about, you know, how you're going about getting this ammo and everything. Because you have a lot of people who work in, you know, do diligent, do diligent online. I'm talking about going, you know, just driving around. I'm talking about it's cost you money. You know, you got to spend by gas, time, traffic that you're dealing with. Man, it just takes a toll and stuff on you. It does. It really does. So, I'm talking about that is normal people and everything. Um, you're gonna have some pullback, just like anything. You gonna, you know, people are gonna pull back a little bit, and then you know it'll it'll pick back up. So you know you're gonna have the you know, little pullbacks and stuff when it comes to buying ammo. Now, people still going to be out there buying ammo and everything. But, you know, people just get, you know, you're just going to get tired and stuff, you know. So this, a lot of stuff burn you out. People don't talk about this. When it comes to stockpiling, buying guns and stuff like doing all this kind of stuff, you get burnt out, people. And, you know, a lot of people don't talk about that other side or whatever. You get burnt out a little bit. You're going to get tired and frustrated. And then just take a breather, people. Just relax and everything, you know. Take a breather, sit back and assess what you got and stuff. Look through a lot of your inventory and stuff. A lot of people don't really, you know, gather the inventory or, you know, make a decision how much they need and stuff like that. Or I'm okay for right now. Take a breather. Just take a breather, people. 
and the session ammo and stuff like that. Because a lot of people are not going to tell you that and everything. Now, you're still going to have people who still going to keep pushing the limit out there and everything, trying to get this ammo and stuff. You still got those people out there. But for the first time buyers and stuff like that, I'm to my take a breather and everything, you know, just assess what you have and everything. And, you know, hopefully things can get a little better. Hopefully now, hopefully. So, you know, I just want to talk about that a little bit because people have been leaving comments and stuff like that. Do you get drained? Do you get frustrated, tired and stuff? And yes, it is called, I call it ammo fatigue. It's going to happen. It happens to the best of us. So uh, to my, you know, just take your breathing and everything and relax, you know, and, you know, just kind of sporadically look when you're, when you, and, and one thing I, I found out when it comes to buying ammo people, when you have your hopes up high and everything, I, I know a lot of you have your hopes up high, I'm going to find it here, I'm going to find it there and everything, and you get turned down. And a lot of people have been turned down so much, and that kind of, that takes a toll on you. So I found out if you take a breather, relax a little bit and everything, and you know, when you start having your hopes up high and you start looking and stuff, it, it pops up. I'm talking about you, you, you get lucky. So, you know, that works sometimes. You know, just take a breather and everything, people, when it comes to ammo. So I just want to talk about that a little bit. This is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.